Hi, this is another BiteWiser.com Inkscape tutorial, and today I'm going to try to show you how to make a pirate treasure map. So the first thing we can do is grab our rectangle tool and just make some sort of rectangle here. You can round the edges however you'd like. And then, now that we have that selected, go up and do an object to path on that. And now what we can do that allow us to use some filters on it, I'm going to use this roughen filter. I'm going to do that uh, twice so we can get enough roughness to this. And now I'm going to go and do uh, uh, textures and rough paper. Now give us a, a nice uh, texture look there. I'm going to change the color just a little bit here so I can make it a little bit lighter. That looks good. I'm going to close out of there. And now I'm going to make some tears in the page by making some triangles of various uh, shapes and uh, angles. So we can just uh, rotate these guys around. Whoops. And uh, make some. Make a big one there. Okay. And so what we can do is we can kind of insert these into the paper. We can uh, select our triangle and select the paper, <coughs> excuse me, paper, and uh, do a difference on that. And you can see a little tear put into there, which looks kind of nice. And I'll do that again with a few of these. Um, do, a, do a difference on that. And I'm going to rotate that just a little bit throw this in here and uh, do another difference and a couple more things I'm going to do. I'm going to grab rectangle shape, run an object to path on that and kind of get this on an angle here. I'm going to make it look like the corner of this just got completely ripped off. Okay and uh, one more thing I want to do just for the heck of it is I'm just gonna make it look like there's some sort of tear right in the middle of this paper and it really doesn't matter how perfect it looks or anything because when you run a difference on this with that torn paper stuff it, it, it looks pretty good so there you go so now we got a paper with a hole in it and torn off edges and it's looking pretty nasty so now we can start making our our land that's going to be going on our map. So grab the Bezier tool and just start making some sort of shape. Anything really, it, it doesn't matter too much. I'm going to go and I'm going to round out some of these uh, nodes so that it's not quite so uh, uh, angly. I, I don't know if that's a word, but just kind of do something like that. And I'll uh, duplicate the, uh, the paper uh, I want to make sure this guy is on top just because that's how I like to do it and I'll run an intersection on that so now you can see that there's a little bit of a line here but it's it's, it's not enough that you can see what that land is so what we want to do on both of these on this piece over here and this piece of the paper here is we want to do a filters and go to shadows and glows and do a darken edges so that way that kinda that brings out the uh, the shape of the land there and uh, I'm gonna make a little island off to the side here too and again just use your bezier tool doesn't really matter how how good this looks because again that that uh, rough paper stuff really takes care of this and makes it look nice no matter what you do uh, before I do an intersection on that, I got to duplicate this big piece of paper here. And I'm going to page down once so it's below that shape that I just made. Select the shape by pressing shift and clicking on it and go to uh, intersection. And we'll have what looks kind of like an island off the mainland here. So that's doing good. Um, I'm going to make a, a mountain range that goes through here. So I'm going to set up my grid, and I'm going to go grab the Bezier tool again, 
and start making a mountain. It's not going to be this big, it's just so I can see what the heck I'm doing. So I got a mountain right here. I'm going to add just something extra to it to make it look like, uh, I don't know, just make it look different. So I got this triangle here and this shape here. I'm going to perform a union on those. So that's what I got. And uh, before I go any further with that, whoops, I don't know what happened there. Uh, I'm going to do a control shift and then click and drag on this. I'm going to get rid of that grid. And what I want to do is grab my dropper and grab somewhere on this page here. And I want to, I just click that somewhere. And what I want to do is get rid of the um, stroke on here. So I'm going to press shift and click on this X. And I'm going to do filters, shadows and glows, and I'm going to darken the edges again. So that'll kind of be our mountain. And what we're going to do is I'm going to move this down here. And maybe I want to make that just a little bit darker so it stands out a little more from our land. So I'm just going to move this over just a little bit. And that's all we need to do. And now I'm going to go and take that. And I'm just going to duplicate them and move them all over the place. Something along the lines of this doesn't really have to be perfect. Whoops. Then I control Z there, I accidentally grabbed the paper. Oh. I hope it goes back. It didn't go back. So there we go. Okay. There's our land. Okay. So I'm going to grab this guy and duplicate this again. I don't know what happened there. Now I'm going to grab all these guys right here and I'm just going to do a union on them. And I'm going to duplicate it and I'm just going to just to save time because I've got about 20 minutes before I run out of space here and my uh, screencast stops. So there's our mountains and I'm going to go and I'm going to draw some, or I'm going to write the name of what this is here. So, I, Oops, I, I didn't want to grab that. I want to grab the pencil tool. Just kind of make a wavy line kind of like this. And now what I'm going to do is grab the text tool. And what I want is I want to use, it's a free font. It's called Ballpark, I believe it is. Let me scroll down for it here. Yeah, ballpark, it's free. There's no license, so no need to worry about that. I'm going to call this uh, Mountain Range the Devil's Spine because that sounds kind of kind of piratey, I guess. And I'm going to perform an object to path on this. I want to do a Control shift g to ungroup all those letters, and I'm going to perform a union on that because what I want to, well, first, I guess before I even do that, I'm going to select my text here. I'm going to uh, press shift and click on this line that I drew down here, go to text, and put on path. And it's not doing anything. And that's because I actually, uh, I did this incorrectly. What I was supposed to do was type in devil's spine and it's text so I have to place text on there not a object so put on path and there we go and that probably looks eh, good enough and do a control X on that line to get rid of that and now I'm gonna move well not get rid of it but to make it disappear so There's our uh, mountain range, and I'm going to add some more text here. Say, uh, Captain Ted's treasure. Actually, I'm going to do this. That uh, Captain Ted's will be one string. I'm going to type treasure on the next line, 
I'm going to type in X, and this is all in that ballpark, uh, that ballpark text. So I'm just going to go and make that X real big and put it right eh, anywhere, it doesn't matter. And I'm going to move these guys down here. There's Captain Ted's treasure. And uh, one more thing I'm going to do, just for the heck of it, is I'm going to make another line here and I'm going to make a name for that body of water there. I'll call it a Sea of Blackbeard. And I'm going to go and I'm going to select that line again and I'm going to put that on the path. And that looks really good and now I need to make sure I need to try and get that line out of there because we don't want that line in there so let's wait for that to redraw a little bit and select this yeah we can uh, select that line now I think. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna make that disappear by uh, pressing shift and uh, clicking on the X here. I'll tell you what, nothing's working today. There, just so I make sure I got that. Okay, there, it disappeared. And now I'm going to move my text back for the Sea of Blackbeard, so it's not on the land. Good. And one last thing that we can do is we can go ahead and make a little legend. So I'm just going to take a circle and kind of draw it here. Okay, and do run an object to <laughs> run. <laughs> it's not cool. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to do a Control Shift C on that, and that should uh, convert it to an object, object to path. I mean, and uh, I'm going to duplicate that and change that to a different color so I can see what's going on here. And there I go. I'm going to select these two guys and I'm going to perform a geez I'm going to perform a difference on it and move this over just a little bit I'm going to go and make another uh, another little triangle here and it's not quite in the center of that circle so I'm going to select that circle, triangle, I'm going to go to uh, object, align and distribute, and that ought to pop up sometime, okay. We got a lot of stuff going on here so it's taking a while, but uh, last selected and we're going to center that. So the reason I want to do that is so that I can go to path and perform a union on this. This doesn't look like much yet, but um, I'm going to use a dropper on that new shape now and select somewhere on here. Somewhere a little bit darker, hopefully. And I'm going to go to Filters, Shadows and Glows and do uh, Darken Edges on that again. So there's kind of our uh, little legend, and I'm going to just use that ballpark text and type an N and we'll use the same gray kind of color here and I'll just bring that right down onto there and so that's that's looking alright uh, the one last thing I want to do is I want to convert all this text now I want to do an object to path on all of it and uh, do uh, ungroup everything by doing a control shift G and then I want to do a union on it because what what that's going to allow me to do is go down to filters and go down to uh, overlays
and speckle. And that will kind of give it a little bit of a look like that uh, text, the ink is kind of peeled away or gone away, or look a little bit old. So do the same thing here again. Object to path, control G on all of it, perform a union on the stuff that's ungrouped, filter, overlays, speckle. And I'm going to do that for the rest of this stuff here. I'm going to select, this should get everything. Captain Ted's treasure, the X and the N here, it's got all that. So I'm going to do object to path on all that. I'm going to do control shift G on it. So everything's ungrouped and now I'm just going to do a union on it all together. Um, I'm going to bring that, do, press home on this to make this above the little compass looking thing here and uh, do our uh, overlays and speckle. So there you have it. This is how you can make a pretty neat looking pirate map. You can do all sorts of other things with it, but um, this is about all I have time to do. <laughs> so uh, I hope you enjoyed this. See you later.